Hello and welcome back to the channel in Deus Ex Human Revelations. Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in So we've got to go back to our evening. apartment. After viewing controversial Oop. satellite footage on So we can get airlifted to um Seraph's headquarters. Because the streets are apparently a little bit too crazy at the moment. Although we have a lot of stuff we could have sold. We could sell that, that. Alright. That is what it is. There we go. trying to set up the mic so it's comfortable. No problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under control. Mr. Jensen, show is good to see you. Everything's quiet here, Mr. Jensen. Nothing to worry about. There she is. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. Okay, so we're heading back to Seraph's HQ, I'm pretty sure. To the headquarters. Ebooks are scattered throughout most locations. I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Okay, let's check in with the boss. Street level parking. There's a lot of guards around. Even if it was true that we were breeding a bunch of augmented soldiers and training them, what do they think stopping us from going home? How do we have this card? Well, we are head of security, so we should have every card, should we not? to the boss man that consumes so much so fast let's have a look, quick look at some orcs we can get fully upgraded that probably use that 60% what's this stealth enhancements 
What about the one being able to see through walls? Take down multiple opponents? Sheriff? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientists yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengcha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning, the conspirators probably know I'm coming. You're Adam Jensen, right? The security chief here? Your men did a good job securing this building when the riot broke out. If anyone would have been able to breach the front door, we would have had to deal with them harshly, if you know what I mean. All right, awesome. So we're heading back to Hankshaw Island. That's good, because that means we can sell some of our stuff. There's a limb clinic as well, so how much money we got? Just shy, but we'll be able to grab some weapons and sell some weapons. Oh my gosh. How come none of our security are augmented? I heard you were out there, Jensen. How bad is it? Let's head back. We'll go to the helipad. Boss said we're heading back to Hangshaw. Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. And we've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. The Rhino Dermal Armor Augment makes you more resistant to damage. It may even protect you from EMP blasts if upgraded correctly. Bad news, Spy Boy. Spy Boy. 
Hangshaw traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. They've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a sandlock on our tail. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Kill this thing, guys. with the damned mission. Thanks, bye boy. Oh. oh, I'm happy we did that, guys. Although, at the end, almost died from my own landmine, which is hilarious. But we saved her. So that's really good. Super happy. 
Okay, what else do we have? Let's just go and clean up. Do we get like... Is that like a bonus objective? Okay, now we'll go to our assault rifle. Our assault rifle is so weak compared to our pistol. Not gonna lie. Okay, that's that area all clear. What about up here? down this area or is this just another way to sneak past oh no EMP grenade freight grenade okay so that was just a little stash little stash hole okay Pistol ammo. Four. Okay, let's get in the elevator and get out of here. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. I know. They ambushed us, Pritchard. Forced us to make an emergency landing. Malik barely got away in time. But they're supposed to be... The good guys? Just give them a wide berth, Jensen. If they recognize you, they'll shoot. One Brexit kit received. One available. Okay, we have a Praxit kit. do we have okay invisible three seconds per energy cell yeah we'll go with this Once you leave, you won't be able to return to the area. No problem. At least we've got a lot of stuff to sell now. We've got a few guns. Sell the sniper rifle, don't really need it. Electronic devices with security above level 1 will not be hackable. Oh! 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 What is this? Hey, sir. You shouldn't be here. Get moving. Last warning. Leave or I shoot. Stop him. No, oh, he's Bell Tower. Jensen, it's Pritchard. Have you been watching the news? Been a bit busy, Francis. Jensen, 
The World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Nah, I don't want to go to Lung. It's easy for people to judge you and say, oh, you're I don't trust them. The bell tower's in on this. Lung's probably going to be in on this as well. We'll go there and they'll, they'll mess us up. Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. We need to go to the hotel. So we can sell our weapons. And make some money. So I imagine Versalife's got to have an opinion on things. I think they'll give up all that money they get on neuropazine sales? Nuh-uh. Can't have that much influence, not if the whole UN decides to pass restrictions. Where am I going? Zhao Yunru didn't seem concerned in that TV interview she gave. She almost seemed to be welcoming the restrictions. Yeah, probably because she's made some backroom deal. That's how these corporations work, you know. <laughs> Okay, let's just go for it. Let's just. It's Bell Tower. We're at the point where we don't really need money anyway. And all the upgrades we get from now on don't really do much. So let's just hit and do the side mission. I don't think it's a good idea to get the upgraded chip, though. Okay, let's go to missions. Meet Darrow's contact. Okay. Let's take the rooftops. It's a little safer at the moment. Us. Ammo capacity upgrade. Okay. Interesting. I feel sorry for the person who lives here. As we just through the walls. Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss described you as a most precious asset. Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation. Let's hope his confidence. What operation? We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists who are threatening the Panchea project. Are you up to it? Okay, I'll help out. Excellent. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. 
we've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lo Fei. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong District. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that, and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Faye set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned, then properly prosecuted and sentenced. This will require stealth and efficiency. That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Let's do this. Let's do this. That's so awesome. The biggest problem is we don't have a taser. We don't have anything. We have nothing that will be able to take them out apart from hand to hand. Rumor has it that Hugh Darrow is going to hold some sort of surprise you and summon him. This has nothing to do with you. Keep moving. Oh, we got to the hotel. Maybe we'll buy a taser. Do we still actually have our Trank rifle? No, we haven't sold our Trank rifle. Okay, what do we want to keep? We'll keep this. So we'll reload it. Easy, Guaylo. You look here. Heavy rifle. Crossbow. Combat rifle. Machine pistol. Fortune. I understand the reality of living in a slave state. Okay. You can bet. They'll so now we shut us down, but I won't stop, followers. I will not. Okay, we're pretty much set now. Move that up to here. We don't have a, a proper weapon though, which still sucks. Alright guys, either way, we're going to end this episode here. So if you liked it, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.